All right, let's do it. Any thoughts, anything that this isn't working at all. <laughs> Come on, Damon. What's happening here? Any idea? It's inside Brock? out, dude. It is? No yeah. way. Did this you? Monty would be a What shame. did you do? Put yeah, yours in the dishwasher and melt it? You're not a bald. He would say, you're not a bald brethren. I feel like it shrunk. <laughs> there it is. There it is. There it nice and fits like a glove. Fits oh. like Marvin Harrison Jr. Oh, hey. offense. Hey, Monty. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Any stipulations you want to put on this before we dive into the mock draft simulator? Did uh did Trevor Sikama after we did so we I talked was to ask Trevor, you. We talked to Trev before our interview. This was days before. This is our greeting of him at the at the NFL Combine. I said, "Hey Trev, what's going on?" And Johnny just steps on. He's like, "Hey Jaden, <laughs> Jaden hey, Daniels is ranked way Trev, too Jayden low. Jaden Daniels is too low." And he's like. Everybody's been saying it. I got to update it. Everybody's been saying it. <laughs> so hopefully he did us a, uh, a solid. He did us so many solids by by doing about 25-minute interviews three times in the last month. Uh, <laughs> He's on the payroll for PHNX now. <laughs> Poor guy. All right. Let's get let's get into it. It's the PFF mock draft simulator. Uh, make sure Bo's face. Is Bo's there face covered or no? Nope. Here I am. You're good. Um. We're just going to roll the die. Should we check the big board first? Let's see if our guy, Jaden Daniels, has gone up a little bit. Okay. We got time here. All right. So, Jaden Daniels, the view is thick, by the way. Very appropriate for this podcast. Um, let's see. Jaden Daniels previously was in the 20s. I, this isn't oh, a good boy. sign so far. Oh, boy. Come on. Looks like it hasn't been updated. <laughs> well, no. this, this will be interesting. Oh, is that, you not like that, Trev? My guy, 94, not good enough. <laughs> All right. Let's do it. Let's do some mock drafting. Let's do seven rounds. Bo swore me that if we did tradebacks, large majority of the picks would need to go into 2025 for the sake of this mock draft. So I reluctantly agreed to that. But no, anything, I, think take, I think you take draft needs down and positional let value up. We've tried this before. It doesn't yeah. help. Randomness. I mean, you go all the way. That That's the one thing that's... Okay, is that is that a little bit better? There you go. And take the positional value just down a notch. Boop. All right. Cardinals pick them fourth. Let's do it. Entering I'm, I'm the giving draft. advice like I would like for fixing an engine. Like I have no clue what I'm talking about either. <laughs> I'm just like, yeah, I would do this. <laughs> and I, how do I jump my car? You put the clamps on the thing. That's me. The battery. Right. <laughs> do you have any? Do you have any? I I wouldn't. I couldn't tell you where that is. Uh, do you have any interest in trading up to number three? No. All right. We're going to start this draft. We're going to see what happens. So Roma Dunsey somehow went third overall. Uh, so I'm okay with that. Are you okay. okay with that? Yeah. Guess who's on the board? Sweet baby Marv. Um, Roma Dunsey, because he worked out at the combine, somehow jumped over Marvin Harrison Jr., according to Gerard Mayo and company. So Marvin Harrison Jr., the play. Uh, any interest in entertaining a mini trade down with our friends like the New York Jets? Uh, no. Okay. Do Keep you? This party moving. No, I don't have any interest. Seven rounds interest. here. We got 13 picks. I have interest in celebrating at Gila River when that uh, hits the clock. Oh, my goodness. This is just keeps getting better and better. This could be the greatest mock draft of all time. So, uh, Marv, we take Marv at four and we come all the way down to 27. You got some big hog mollies up front. Marius Mims, Tyler Guyton. Who do you, who do you like out of this, this crew? I mean, I like Guyton more as a prospect because I think Mims a little sloppy and he gets hurt a lot and he got hurt at the combine, but he has a much higher ceiling. Uh, and Guyton didn't have the best. Um, he didn't have the best combine. Most people yeah. think Guyton could fall to the second now, which is good to hear for, for a team like the Cardinals. Yeah. Bears are interested in trading up from pick 75, which is just a laughing stock. Yeah, it's too um, far. I would do a uh, mini trade back if possible. It doesn't sound like we're going to have that option just because... I would take Guyton a couple picks later, but if not, you got to take Mims here, I think. Uh, I, I agree. I think Mims is the guy. I think he just has a slight edge just because, based on his size. I, I know that he's he's less polished, but at the same time, Guyton really struggled during the workouts in uh, in Indy. But, and he's also a guy that that's pretty raw, made a position change in college. I'll, I'll take the guy with size and err on the side of that. Give me Mims playing big boy football in the SEC. What, Here, he what was his, his his numbers? His his measurables were insane. 
They have the did they at least update the measurable? He's like the biggest wingspan like of all time. Yeah, like it's it's say, insanity. Here's what I'll say about him: like this is really encouraging. Typically, with these these big guys like Mackay Becktons and a bunch of Bama tackles during like Saban's early years, they'd be stud run blockers, but they couldn't move their feet in pass protection. Mims, it's almost the opposite. Like he he pass protected for Stetson Bennett, who is like. You know me with a couple of inches. Like I, he made him look great. I think I think Mims. I'm probably shortchanging him a little bit. I, the, the injuries do concern me, but I also think, gentlemen, you take Marvin at four, who is as much of a sure thing as I can remember, just to consistently get you thousand yard seasons. You, I think Mims is a boom or bust prospect. He's either going to be a stud or, or you're just going to miss on him. And I know a lot of people say, well, you got to have the high floor. I think you've earned the right with this Houston pick where it is to roll the dice on a kid where it's like, if we hit on this guy, he's got a ceiling. I would say even beyond somebody like Paris. And I love Paris like his, to your point, Bo, his measurables are insane. They're off the charts. So I, I think it's the play. 11 you, and a quarter inch hands. That's insane. Tyler Guyton, 10 and a quarter. He's, he's also six, eight. He's three twenty. Mams is three forty. Uh, I mean, as far, their prospect yeah. scores are real close together. Their production similar as far as playing at big power five schools. I just I, li- I like Mems as a prospect better because of what you said. I think that you take a big, you could take a, you have the luxury of taking a big swing here, and if it works out, you you've got a future just monster, just just absolute monster that you're going to be able to put at left tackle for years to come. I just Ohio State, Georgia. You just you 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 got me sold on the two universities alone. Uh, a lot of talent falling to the Cardinals at pick thirty five now, including the man that broke the sound barrier with his forty time uh, and Mr. <laughs> Mitchell from Texas. Any temptation there? But Worthy was the guy. It was his teammate. Uh, oh, was it? Worthy. Okay, my but bad. Look, Donnie Mitchell also had a, an unbelievable forty time. Um, who I, I I absolutely believe is is could be you know. Uh, consolation prize for those who lose out on the Marvin Harrison sweepstakes in the Roma Dunze in, in Malik neighbor sweepstakes. But yeah, Donnie Mitchell had a massive combine, but we're not in play with him at 35. Yeah. And I don't, I'm, a, you know, it looks like there's probably been a run on defensive linemen uh, earlier in the first round, Jerzon yeah. Newton going 17 to the Jags. I also heard that the lions love Jerzon Newton for what it's worth. So like, this is a trouble spot here. The Cardinals opt to pass on Jerzon Newton. And the, the, I think Jerzon Newton said, like, I F with them and they F with me. And then, of course, Byron Murphy, I, I think very much this is where he should be drafted, top 12 to 15. So, um, so yeah, I mean, now you've got some choices here. Jordan Morgan is going to fall the second round. He's not a first round player. And his his I think he's going, he's going to have to play guard at the next level. Yeah. And I think at this point, what you've done is you've bolstered your offense. Like what you've done is you've put Kyler Murray and crew in a position to take off like a rocket. Now you start to rebuild your defense. Like you, you just, you just invested your two top picks in this draft. Now you got to use the remainder of what your four top 100 picks on rebuilding this defense. And yeah, like you got Brandon Fisk, Braden Fisk, who had an insane uh, combine freak. freak show. He put on, you know, he's putting up, you know, stellar throughout all the workouts as far as speed, athleticism, mobility, like Fisk. He was overshadowed, of course, by Jared Verse, but not in the workouts. He's, he's older. He's still, he is older. And then you got Chris Jenkins, Tavondre Sweat, guys that you and I like, uh, Dolores, who admitted that he talked to the Cardinals. And I think this is a Jenkins-Fisk play, or you look at those, those at the edge or cornerback position. I think you try to do a trade. I think based on the players that we're mentioning, let's see if we can get somebody to come up. Like, okay, the Giants did not get a quarterback. They took Brock Bowers. So, like, hypothetically in this situation, and we're going to force a trade here because we're all about having fun. The New York Giants going down with the Giants, 35 to 39, like pick 70. Or you could take 47. Well, yeah, you're going to have to give up 35 in the process. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm I'm forcing this trade. So basically, you're dropping down. I won't be able to sneak it through. I mean, I know they're not overwhelmed by it. We're gonna force it. I think this. You think this is fair value, guys? If they come up for Bo, not Bo Nix, but one of these Michael Penix or somebody, you think that's fair? 
And Brian A, I'll say the Jenkins was smaller than you thought. I mean, he was he was walking by. It was either Sweat or Byron Murphy, and everybody looks small next to those guys. Yeah. All right, I'm forcing this trade, and we're recouping an additional. We're gonna have four third rounders because that's how Monty Austinford rolls. That's how we roll here on PHNX. We're going down to 47, and we're seeing who's available at defensive line. And uh, how about that? Old reliable, our friend yeah. Darius Robinson <laughs> still available. And then let's double check here. Anything? Uh, Chris Jenkins obviously still available. Uh, lost out on Fisk. He went out a couple spots before. Yeah, let's do but, Robinson. Um, I think the versatile player plays with violence. Had he's had a tremendous pre-draft performance. There he's Robinson. Out of really Missouri. good games against Ohio State, Tennessee, Georgia. I mean, try to find a bad game on his schedule. You you really can't for a team in Missouri that that overachieved this year. I I love this kid. He's a monster. And think about think about the three players that we've drafted, and when the Cardinals pull up, and I know it's not high school anymore where you get off the bus, but you've got six four Marvin, you've got six eight Mims, and you got the massive man that Darius Robinson is. I mean, that's it's pretty imposing. I think um, I, I agree with you, and I think we're all going to be freaking out a little bit. At least I will on on day one and day two if the Cardinals don't exit their first three picks tackle, wide receiver, defensive lineman, edge, DT in some combination. Like I. You maybe talk yourself into a corner if you love a guy. If that's not the tr the trio, the trifecta, the brain trust, I'm going to be disappointed. Yeah, I can see that. I mean, I, I think once you kind of see Monty Cook, you, you'll see the logic behind it. And I, I don't think it's like a slam dunk that it goes that way. Just like we were sitting there like, well, they need an interior offensive lineman. And they just kept shying away from it round after round and took, until they took gains in the fourth round. Yeah. Um, but now you're starting to look at this draft board and you've got, you know, Cooper uh, from a and think you got a, a good, you know, guard. You know, we were standing there and I heard a couple guys, staff members from an AFC team talking about their interview with Haynes. And <laughs> it wasn't very complimentary. Like say, they, what, they, say what they said. I, mean, I think it was like somewhere around like it was pulling teeth. It was it was tough. Did, did, did I did. did what did you th say? What did I say they said? Because I, I heard him like, and I said it verbatim. These guys just said Christian Haynes' interview was bad. Yeah, no, it, was, it was not good. Uh, and he's a redshirt no. senior. So, the I mean, the ceiling is what it is. I feel like he, if, he, if he doesn't come in the NFL and is a good player right away, like that's a missed pick. I don't have a problem maybe like Dolores here. Um, I know we just went with a, a bit of a, a versatile defensive lineman. I think Dolores is too. But you continue to and, – and Sweat, too, it, it, he fits a different type of player. Like, Robinson can play, you know, edge and defensive end, where I think Dolores or Tavondre Sweat can be – those no, can play nose, can play big up front. <clears throat> I just need a blood oath right now from the, from the both of you that one of these three picks is going to be a wide out. Can we agree on that? No. I won't make that oath with you. I'm going to make not, it right I will now. Not go into into that. I'm controlling the draft. One of these three picks is going to be a wide out. You guys decide what you want it to be and the gamble you want to take. It. But I'm yeah. looking at uh, <clears throat> Johnny Wilson, Xavier Leggett's available. I love uh, Walker out of North Carolina. Hey, Johnny, we got a guy named Marvin Harrison Jr., fourth overall. Have you ever heard of him? <laughs> <laughs> Are Bermuda Fish big? I don't, I don't know. Is Marvin Harrison a good prospect? I mean, how many, <laughs> I, I, mean I know these players are good. They got needs everywhere, and you want to start just – It's an elite receiver class. I'm taking two of them. I'm going to get another one, and no one can stop me. We're going me. the distance here, bud. All right, you want us? We're going to do Dolores okay. there to make you happy. Now it's time to splurge. It's time to treat yourself here on the PFF Mock Draft Simulator. No. No, it's not. What? Yes, it is. <laughs> yes, it is. No. Who you are you taking? Uh, I like – Murphy, uh, I like uh, Booker off the edge. I like okay. Sweat even more. Like, I just don't think it's time to take a receiver here. Je Jeremiah Trotter bench pressed 225 almost 30 times. That doing anything yeah. for you? Look, I mean, in the third round, it's way better than first round pick. I almost think there's some value. Blake Fisher looked pretty good during his workouts, but again... You, you can't take two tackles. You have too no, many tackles. No, I think you're. Point. I think you're pretty well set there. And and like you continue to rebuild this defense. Are you worried about Sweat's 
um, ability to, to not gain weight in the NFL. He's 366. I mean, you, I, I mean, you're just worried about him and in, in, in the in the world not gaining weight. Like he and Mims boy. on Michael Bidwell's jet is a concern. <laughs> he and Mims in that Tempe baby locker room. <laughs> I, they, they, he might as well just start knocking down walls. I'm gonna. I want to take another defensive lineman, but I know we just took one. So, all right, Austin Booker, edge rusher. We're assuming the Cardinals added an edge rusher in free agency. Good hell, we're taking a player out of Kansas. Nine sacks, really nice, productive season, albeit uh, in a shit conference. Looked pretty good against Texas. I mean, this Texas dominated the line of scrimmage, eighty-two point three. I. I you, played his best against against the best competition Bo. i don't know i i think i go sweat i mean yeah because we're going receiver 71 so yeah that's fine i have no issue with that sweat played in the same conference i just wanted yeah, to but... <laughs> throw that out there <laughs> yeah you got extra sweaty though all right we're taking we're going back to back defensive linemen so here's what we've done we've taken three defensive linemen with with our picks is that mm -hmm. is do we have a problem with that no we got dolores Dolores, mm -hmm. is that how you spell it? Dolores? I feel yeah. like I'm adding a vowel there and it shouldn't be there. Dorless. 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 Yeah. Mm -hmm. We've taken Robinson, Dorless, and now we're taking Tavondre Sweat. So we've added three defensive tackles with our five picks. That's that's certainly a choice. Um, Let's see what we got as far as cornerbacks now. No. We're taking Xavier Leggett <laughs> out of out of South Carolina. Six, What's his three, role gonna be? Uh, slot murderer. That's what his role is going to be. <laughs> Michael Wilson and and Marvin Harrison Jr. on the outside, and then Xavier Leggett is going to just absolutely destroy Fred Warner. Can you at least look at the corners for me? They're trash. They're, no one's left. They've all been drafted. It's over. Not great. I like Max Melton. No, you don't. I like Brownlee. I do. Yeah, Brownlee. We can get later. Okay. This is I a seventh a rounder. Like Max Melton. Yeah. Xavier Leg gets the pick. Sorry. This is what we're doing. We're double. If we're, quad, if we're quadruple or triple dipping with defensive line, we're double dipping with receiver. They have Marvin Harrison Jr. on their roster now. It's if ever heard of a 53 man roster? Ever heard of a team? Yeah. <laughs> you sound like a me guy. Go play tennis. This is football. <laughs> Christopher White. Robinson can play multiple positions. Thank you, Chris. How about this right here? Johnny sees like all it. defensive linemen as the same position. I don't shut up. I do not. <laughs> now you're looking at running backs. Hey, Cor hey, Corum. Corum When's might our be next play. pick? When's the next pick? 105. All right. Corum's the play, I think. What, Bucky Irving did not. He was not fast. I, no, Bucky he was, Irving. He looks slow in space. I think it's either Van Pran or, or Corum here. I think this I is a pretty I would much rather go decision. with the, the center of the future than Blake Corum. <sighs> That's fine. This guy. You're going to take Mims's teammate. So you got Mims's teammate. I think I mean, that's the play. Damon, you have any issue with this? Do I need like a Howie Roseman wig? Is that because I'm taking so many Georgia players? I could turn in my my multi my Monty bald head for what did what did Austin for or Gannon tell us? Premium players, guys put their hand in the dirt, and we're mm -hmm. taking this is our fifth premium player with a guy hand in the dirt. Mims, Van Pran, three defensive linemen. Let's party. I like it. Damon Dog, you're on the clock. Pick 105 is yours, my friend. Can we go back to the corners? Can we look at the corners? Just no, uh... stop bringing up the corners. No one wants Why? to talk about the corners. <laughs> I know uh, Smith Wade had a really good senior bowl. People really yeah. liked him, but he seems like a little bit more of a slot guy. Okay. Uh, let, let's go back to everybody. Right. Yeah, let's do that. Hey, way to go. Way to let all the corners get picked. <laughs> no um, one cares about them. <laughs> Max Melton. The game is one up front. Look, we could have gotten Corum in a trade back. Damn it. Johnny's going to want Tommy Eichenberg here. Off ball <laughs> linebacker out of Ohio Yeah, State. let's do it. He went to Gannon's high school. I talked to him. That's the play, Damon. You know it is. <laughs> let you, Damon make his pick. Show me uh, Show me what we got right now. Drafted already. What are our picks? Yeah, he's to Tommy's PFF grade is horrifying. Um, all right, where do I go to get, <laughs> get our picks? Where do I look? Analysis? Yeah, let's take a look. No. Oh, oh look, no. it says we need a corner. <laughs> Don't we have him. Marvin Harrison Jr. We took Elite. Mims. We took Darius Robinson. Darius Robinson. Trade back and we accumulate an extra back. third. Took Sweat. Here's our, 
We Dor- doubt it. And Dorless took Xavier Leggett. What a third round, huh? Everybody oh, give yourself a pat on the back. Yeah. That's good work, Even boys. Even with Johnny, he's going rogue. All right, Johnny, start scrolling down on this overall players. Okay. Trey Benson. Oh, uh, what about baby. Cooper BB? Uh, let's just let's Ooh. just sw- fling it in right there. That's I like crazy. That. Another board. offensive lineman? What do you mean? We need a guard. We're going three offensive line. Wow. Oh, I hear you. If we just took... Uh, oh, did Van we take Pran? Van Praan as yeah. well? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a time. This is a time to take a running back. The running backs that are here are good. I know Bucky didn't work out that well. Dude out of Notre Dame's elite. Show me the running backs. Show me the Trey running backs. Benson, Trey Benson's good. Yeah, this is the time because it. It's about Dan, to get your slam pick, up pick here. A running back. <laughs> uh, let's go with. Uh, let's go with uh, Braylon Allen. Yes, this isn't going to grade well, but I love this so much. It'd just be such an Austin Ford move. They took a bunch of meat and potato offensive and defensive linemen in. Yes, some receivers. And then you just wake up Saturday morning. You turn on PHNX Cardinals live stream. You turn on the draft. Braylon Allen, ass kicker, heir apparent to James Conner. Let's just celebrate this young man. You know, for a Braylon second. Allen, he, he was a linebacker. And it was Wisconsin. It was a running back factory. It was like a lull. Adam Hogue was telling me the story. It was a lull as far as them having, you know, successor after successor. So many great running backs like Melvin Gordon um, yeah. from, you know, to, to another big time back. And they're like, oh, can can this can somebody play running back? And they put Braylon Allen there and he just kicked ass. So how look, is he, he 20 he, years old? And he's, he's had legit. three years. He's huge. He's huge. Seeing him talk to everybody at the combine. Welcome to welcome to Phoenix, Braylon. Let's party. Uh, pick 105 in the books. Now we get to uncharted territory here on the uh, mm-hmm. Empire Today, building your mock. We've never gone this deep in a mock draft. Yeah. Um, and we've checked a lot of boxes. Get out of Louisville. What did he run? He was sub three, four, three, wasn't he? This running back? Yeah. How big he is the, he? He had the fastest time in the 40 at the position. Look at six. I mean, he, I mean we're not looking at running back any longer. We, we took our guy. I mean, we might. Uh, are you, are you forcing a, um, corner play here? I would like, like DJ, to a DJ James. DJ James has been here for literally two hours. No one wants DJ James. Yeah. All the guys I liked are gone. Well, it's, it's weird. It's, it's almost like you get Dana Robinson here. saying this is a chaos draft snacks. That's what, rogue that's draft. What, that's what we're here. For. <clears throat> How about a tight end? No. <laughs> uh, he's really good i he do like good. him a lot i think he's bpa weapons. right now weapons you don't go bpa in, in in this part of the draft i mean i like, don't know what, I was what, watching what's highlights block, what, 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 what kind of blocking prowess does he have he's supposed Higg- to be pretty Higgins good was so good last year with trey mcbride i would hate to take snaps away from higgy bear i think they were they're gonna add a vet tight end before the draft yeah he we better take a corner bo's right all right, Bo, pick a I was corner. right a couple rounds ago. <laughs> That's your opinion. It's just pick clean, man. It's what you've done to us. Typically, TCU corners do pretty well in the NFL. I have no idea how Josh Newton did this year, but Shadur Sanders destroyed them week one, so maybe that's not a good yeah. sign. <laughs> Hang on. I'm going to throw a curveball. What do you think? Oh, Air no. apparent to Buda Baker. What do you think? Anybody in here that you like? No. We got like nope. a bunch more. Pick. We got four picks left. Let's, let's I know. We need to All be right. on the same page here. Receiver well, let's again. Take the best, let's take the best corner available. Take DJ James. SEC. Get on board with that. All right. Three picks. 188, 222, 224 to the greatest draft in the history of drafts. Uh, running backs, tight ends, centers, safeties. So if you're if you're wondering what positions folks prioritize, it's not this. Um, this this kid can play. Do you see him run his forty? He looked pretty good. I saw him go out to catch passes and not come down with one ball. <laughs> he sounds like a cardinal. Six five. Though. <laughs> Six five. He had some fantastic answers as far as whether or not he believed in birds in their existence, but as far as catching the football, a guy named Tip could not do it. I 
I think we have a is, we have a center, dude. I get There's that, no, but I think this is a value play. No, you got you would have Froholt and you would have Von Prawn, and then you have New like no, get out of. But, you think, but then you got guys that can. I, no, Johnny, no, don't yell at me. <laughs> now I think you can start to look at off-ball linebackers. And you can continue to look at the in the secondary. I think you're right in looking as far as you can even look at some skill positions. I want a guy named Steel. Steel Chambers. Steel was an incredible, incredible interview. Steel cage match with Steel Chambers. He's a bo- he's a box player. That's fine. Don't put him in the slot, Vance Joseph. Don't put him at corner, Vance Joseph. <laughs> All right. Any interest in steel chambers just for the content purposes? Mm. Mm. You want to go back to running back? You want to go back to wide no. out? How about a QB? <laughs> Frank Gore Jr. No. We're good. The running back room is complete. All right. What do you want to add then? Another corner? We have a bunch of young corners. These guys aren't. I don't know if these guys are making the roster. I'm thinking about guys that can like contend for roster spots at this point. Right. That's the, and you can never have too many interior offensive linemen. Like they're not cutting those guys. What about this kid? Jalen green, Mississippi state. I saw him over the um, course of his career, but he was out this year. That's concerning. This is an ultimate flyer. Um, Okay. Uh, How about this kid from old Miss? (laughs) How do he do? I think this is the point where you take a safety. What kind of size does this kid have? He's six foot, 205. He's a senior. He's played a lot of football. Mm-hmm. He's got versatility. He got destroyed by Georgia. They burned the tape there, and he didn't look good <laughs> against Penn State in, uh, at the end of the year. He's a devel- developmental safety. What do you think? SEC. Pass. <laughs> you got to give alternative <laughs> suggestions. This, this show is going to go on for two and a half hours. I'm, you, tell me who to draft or I'm taking Steel Chambers. What about uh, Devin Shire out of Pitt? Where is he? He's the corner right there. Oh, God, blowing his late round corners. I can't f- wait for all these guys to hit the waiver wire in August. Don't say that. Oh, yeah, these these numbers are really rocking my world. All Wake right, Forest, fine. though. All right, you make the pick. You don't care what we have to say anyway. Uh, I'm, uh, mm, let's go, let's go safety. Let's just take a kid, a Gannon piece of clay that he can mold. We got two picks left. Damon, right. you're I'm on the clock again. 222. All right. We are Start so scrolling. gracious to give Damon all his hard work. We give him the two biggest throw. <laughs> I'm going to cook right here. Keep scrolling. I need, I need a lot of scrolling here. I'm Until I find someone I like. Here, Tanner. What about this guy? He's good. He's good. He had a good combine. Then he needs to be one of the picks. Hometown. This is when you take one of the hometown kids. He had a nine RAS. See, that's score. why you're Kime, dude. That you, <laughs> I like him because he played close to where close proximity where we play our football. He was athletic. What about, yes. what about a what about a kicker to replace Prater? No, I don't. Trevin I, Wallace. No. Trevin Wallace. Did we draft a linebacker yet? We haven't yet. What's this yeah, guy? I, like? I, I actually, I actually. Don't mind this guy. I've those scores don't look great. That's okay. How about no? but, Be, beat up on Florida. What's the cut of his jib like? I've heard some decent things about this guy. I've heard that there's I've had I've seen some stuff where he's like more of like a third to fourth round guy. Okay. So, okay. Ooh, good value there from Damon Dog. All right. Last pick, Damon. Again, we've we've addressed all the needs. It's an elite draft. Now we're just we're just putting the cherry on this cake, doing some sprinkles here. What are you thinking? Keep scrolling. To his brother or cousin or whatever. Stop. It's a little brother. <laughs> Bo keeps yelling at me. <laughs> Proctor. Proctor was, I like him at the safety position more so than the guy. I knew you were going to say that. Play. You're such a jerk. I knew Bo was going to say that. <laughs> Why don't we take this guy? I like pretty- this safety more than the one Johnny picked three rounds. Those are pretty good scores. That Johnny reached for back in the day. I have no problem picking somebody that Marvin feels comfortable with. If this pick is for Marvin, I have no problem with that. Hey, Marvin, who's your best friend from college, bro? Yeah. Josh, Josh Proctor. Proctor. 
done. Proctologist, let's I'm, go. I, I love that we did our first seven round mock draft, but I won't acknowledge this mock draft because of what Johnny did. Why? This round. is great. You put this out there. People you love it. So many good players on the board oh to go. My God. Are you time kidding it up me? For Xavier Leggett. Xavier Leggett is going top 50. Book it. All right. This is such a big mock draft. We have to scroll down. I don't Robin mind Xavier Leggett there. I really don't. All right. Thank you, Damon. If you don't double, if you have this many picks and you don't double dip at receiver in this class, that's a crime. You should be arrested on the spot. <laughs> All right, read it off for our podcast listeners. What was podcast our podcast li listeners? Well, we got an A minus overall. Of course, we did. Marvin Harrison Jr. A plus. Um, Mims, the tackle out of Georgia. A. I did a trade down. Uh, the Giants received pick thirty five in exchange for forty seven and seventy to come up twelve spots. In exchange, we got Darius Robinson. A. Then um, Bo took Brandon Dorless, defensive lineman out of Georgia, B. And then we took Devondre Sweat right after it's 70, B+. Plus. Xavier Leggett, B+. Plus. I'd like to point out that my pick at 71 graded higher than Bo's at 66. <laughs> Cedric Van Praan, tremendous value at pick 90, A-. minus. I think we all knew this was coming. Braylon Allen bringing the average down with a D. I saw Braylon out at the combine. He filled out his shirt, so I'm, I'm totally fine with him at 105. <laughs> DJ James, apparently Bo's draft was made or broken by the fact that we need to take some fifth round corners. So B plus there. Uh, Dejon Anthony. Anthony. There were so many better t corners on the board when you were playing Kime Ball. I, they're going to be, I'm going to make a prediction right now. There are going to be 20. You took some guy named Dejon Anthony. Soup Dejon. How about some Dejon <laughs> mustard? There are going to be. 10 to 15 to 20 legitimate NFL corners that are going to be available after the combine, go sign some people on that Monday. The, after you get your undrafted free agent sign, go and get some corners. Don't talk to me about corners over Xavier Leggett. Nobody at the combine, senior bowl, Super Bowl week from now until April is talking about this corner class. Sorry, it's a historic receiver class. You had Didn't somebody, we asked Trevor Sikama, like, who's somebody that's flying on the radar that is going to have himself a day at the combine? He said, Max Melton. Who was right there for the picking for us was Max Melton. He said, mm, I'd rather take this guy. And what happens? Melton and everybody Rutgers, else. Bro, you're, you're telling me to take a Rutgers corner at, over an SEC wide receiver ass kicker that just dominated the combine that I think is has, should have a top 50 grade. And you're talking to me about fucking Rutgers corners right now on this show. How dare you? All right. How dare you, sir? One of the most combative episodes in the history of this podcast for a reason. You tell us right now. Drop a like. You tell you tell us who is the better play, Melton or Xavier Leggett in the third round. <laughs>